Welcome to Tiger Talk. Let's talk about learner qualities. Hey, Tiger Talk fam. Welcome to Season 5, Episode 3 of Tiger Talk. We're your hosts. I'm Gabby. I'm in the 5th grade. I'm Emery, and I'm in the 4th grade. Tiger Talk is a podcast that is written and produced by East students at JTE. How did you like our new intro song for Tiger Talk? I loved it. We'd like to thank Felix for composing our intro song. Today, we're going to interview Mrs. George, counselor at George Junior High. And she's also my mom. Thank you for joining us. Today's episode is about the learning quality, self-aware. At JTE, we say that self-awareness means I am aware of myself, my actions, thoughts, strengths, weaknesses, and next steps. Why do you think that using learner qualities, the learner quality of being self-aware is important? Using the learner quality of self-awareness is important for a lot of reasons. If we're self-aware, we can understand things from multiple perspectives and become better informed to be better decision makers. Being self-aware also helps us understand our emo- emotions and be able to better regulate our emotions, handle stress better, and even understand others better, which can make us more compassionate and kinder. That is important. Hello, Mrs. George. How do you encourage or teach students to become self-aware? Um, when I'm visiting with students and um, we're talking about situations in their lives, whether it's situations at home, at school, or with friends, we talk about what they have control over in the situations. If a student wants to have more friends, we talk about what that would look like, what next steps they have control over that could get them to the goal of having more friends. Maybe it's talking to two new people a day at school or not sitting by themselves at lunch. So it's knowing what role they have in the problem-solving process. Amazing. What tips do you have for parents who want to help their children learn to be self-aware? I think that modeling what we want our kids to learn is one of the best things parents can do to help their kids. So modeling self-awareness at home and talking through those steps of managing emotions or daily stressors is really helpful. An example could be when a parent gets really upset about something and explains to the family, hey, I'm, I'm getting really upset, so I think I'm going to leave the room for a few minutes and then I'll come back when I'm calm. It's just modeling those desired behaviors and skills that parents want to see in their children. Is there anything else about this topic you would like to share with our listeners? Sure. You know, we have so much power in how we react to situations and to others and even to ourselves. Knowing ourselves and our values can help us live more successful and happier lives. If you guys start to understand your strengths and your weaknesses while you're still young, you can figure out how to capitalize on those strengths and improve your weaknesses. This is something that we all do for all of our lives. But you guys are focusing on learner qualities like being self-aware early here at John Tyson Elementary. And you're already on the right track. Wow. Next up is the Tiger Teehee. The Tiger Teehee is a time when we tell you a joke because laughter fixes everything. Why don't leopards play hide and seek? I don't know. Why? Because they always get spotted. (laughs) (laughs) Now it's time for our spread positivity segment. Our East program started a champagne to spread positivity. What is the best way you know to spread positivity, Mrs. George? Um, I think just acknowledging people. Um, I like to do that when I'm at work or if I'm out with my family. I like to acknowledge people and maybe give them a compliment or just show them that I care about them. That is a fantastic way to spread positivity. Learner qualities are tiger-tastic. Tiger, talk to you later. Roar!